Uh, right, so I'm here with uh, this end driver for the LMP1 project, uh, Max Chilton. So the new project for 2015, Max, you must be incredibly excited. Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, I've driven it for uh, one day so far in Kentucky and in the US, and uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I was slightly shocked when I found out it had 1,250 horsepower or thereabouts um, coming out of the front wheels. Um, but actually, when you drive it, it's very drivable. Um, you know, we still got a few things to work on. Um, but I think uh, you know, Le Mans is is what the car was built for and designed for. Um, as long as we can get through without any problems, I think we'll have a strong a strong first uh, race and first Le Mans. Um, and it's a three-year project, so I'm super excited. Sure. Okay. And obviously, it was the car was never really set to make its debut in Silverstone or indeed Spa. So the Le Mans is is the big sort of aim. It's even getting to the finish for the, after the 24 hours would be a huge achievement for the team. It would be. Um, you know, it's uh, it's always um, you know part of motorsport that things sometimes don't go to plan, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, lots of other LMP1 teams in their first year have come in. Um, and it put, missed the first few races. Um, it's, it's a hard decision, but it's the right decision. In that time where we would be racing, uh, we've been doing the mileage um, testing. So it's, uh, I think, uh, the right thing to do. And uh, really looking forward to my first Le Mans. I've got Mark Genet as my teammate and Jan. Um, and uh, Mark's done it many times before. So we've got lots to learn from. Yeah, it's an experienced driver lineup. So you te the team all sort of gelling, gelling well and the atmosphere within it seems incredibly positive. It's good. There's uh, nine drivers for us uh, at Le Mans for Nissan, three cars, and then in the WEC there's two cars, two drivers in each car. Um, and so Le Mans is going to be good to sort of get us all uh, together and, and work together, and then uh, that will lead, lead us in good stead for the final four or five rounds uh, of the WEC. Sure, OK. Uh, and you've been asked this question a million times already, but I'm going to have to ask it to you again just for broadcast purposes. Um, the difference between the Formula One car and changing over to an LMP one car. What, what's the, what's the big difference? And I mean, how how does it how does it handle? What's the what's the grip like? And is it such a massive change? Um, it's not as large as you think it would be. Um, these cars now are, are putting out more power, a lot more power than a Formula One car. They have huge amounts of downforce because they've got you know bodywork over the front wheels. Um, they can do sort of more sort of ground effects. It's less. Um, restricted and so there's not a huge huge difference obviously they weigh quite a lot more it's the biggest difference so then the stopping distance isn't as good in the mid corner but um, you know they're, they're hugely advanced bits of kit um, and uh, yeah I wasn't I wasn't having to adjust my driving style from Formula 1 to, to, to drive this front wheel drive Nissan. Sure okay well best of luck for 2015 and I'm sure we'll see you on the podium at Silverstone next year. Brilliant.